Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add songs to library on YouTube Music. So the first thing that you will need to do now is to open your web browser. Either it was Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera or any web browser that you are using. And then you will need just to go to the searching bar and search for the YouTube Music. And basically you can just go to the URL bar and type music.youtube.com to access to the website directly. Or you can just go here in the searching bar and search for YouTube music and we click on the first link. And as you can see, the YouTube music is not available in my area. So in that case, we can use a VPN so we can connect to uh, another area server to have this work so basically i'm using proton vpn and i'm going to have my click to quick connect so, so i can connect to another server so basically here we are just going to wait and basically now we are just going to refresh and we will have our music youtube that will work correctly and now all it remains to do is to follow these simple steps so basically now all you need to do is to go to any songs that you want. So basically let's just go for uh, this one on the quick picks and I will click on the three points action and here you will find add to library. After clicking add to library, you will have it added as single music on the library. So basically here I'm on the library and let's just go here and basically let's just go to the recently added and here we will have it that is being added here at the bottom we will find the i prevail brand uh, band musics here so basically you can do this also for uh, albums so let's just go for this album for example and i'm going to click here and basically i can just click on add to library and i will have it added to the library also so basically as you can see it has been added successfully here as a playlist or album and now i can play any music that i want from this playlist and if you want to move it from the library you need just to go to the three points action remove from library and you will have it removed successfully so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time